Have you ever heard someone say that another person is playing Minecraft the wrong way? Maybe you have, maybe you haven't. I certainly have myself, but more often than not, the idea of a right way to play Minecraft in a wrong way exists in the background as a subconscious idea. A concept typically created by those who prefer a certain aspect above the others. So what is the right way to play Minecraft, or what is the wrong way? Well, it will vary from who you ask, but honestly, to think that there is a right and wrong way to play Minecraft is kind of missing some of its major theming. So today we are exploring a pretty niche topic, pretty deep within the Minecraft community. So I hope you will join me on this journey into the argument of the right versus the wrong way to play Minecraft. Like I said earlier, the idea of the right way to play Minecraft typically comes from people who think one aspect is more important than all of the others. In some cases, you may find people saying that playing Minecraft the right way requires beating the Ender Dragon, but instead what you will very often see is the right way to play Minecraft is to play not for progression or adventure, but for building and engineering. This idea became particularly more popular on modern YouTube with things like SMPs and Mega Builds. SMPs where players build gigantic bases and spend all kinds of time just on that aspect alone sort of set a golden standard, if you will. And it's good to have something to look up to, to aspire to, but I think maybe some people took it a bit too far, with some people saying that that is the right way to play Minecraft, and if you're not building some giant mega base, then you're playing the game wrong. In most cases, that is a hyperbole. But this is part of the reason that talks about progression and adventure and improving those areas of Minecraft became so frowned upon by the community because of the idea that playing Minecraft for progression or adventure was the wrong way to play it. I've even seen this come up quite a few times now that whenever someone makes a critique of Minecraft or suggestions for improving the game, people will say that they need to show their biggest build in order for their critique to be valid which honestly sounds laughable on its own, right? You don't need to make some crazy build to be able to share your thoughts on Minecraft. Fortunately, very few people are at that extreme from what I can tell anyway. I'm just gonna try to lay things out clearly here. There is no right or wrong way to play Minecraft. There never has been and there never will be. You play Minecraft, your way, the way that you enjoy, and in a sense everyone is playing the game the right way then, technically. So maybe there really is a right way. Every way. If you don't beat the Ender Dragon, that's fine, you're playing Minecraft the right way. If you don't explore every single structure, that's fine. If you don't even build a house, that's fine, you're still playing the game right. If you don't fight any mobs, you're still playing correctly. If you won't make any mob farms or whatever, that's okay also. If you don't like a certain aspect of the game, then you don't need to engage with it much. To some extent, you will have to pretty much engage with every aspect at least a little bit, but you can severely mitigate it if that's what makes you happier. Now, I know probably the most controversial thing I just said there was that you don't have to build a house or anything to be playing Minecraft the right way, but I will stand firmly by that statement. All of Minecraft's core aspects are important, and building is only one of five. Progression isn't the point of Minecraft, and neither is building. The problem with this entire argument of the right way and the wrong way is that as soon as you set a standard, people will then expect others to make that standard. And if they don't reach that, if they don't make some mega base with a bunch of mob farms, then their thoughts won't be considered valid. 
That's luckily not the case for everyone, but I know that it is for some. But if you really think about it, if you say you have to fully immerse yourself in building to be playing Minecraft the right way, then that also goes for every other one of the aspects. That means in order for you to play Minecraft right, you also need to fully immerse yourself in progression, adventure, engineering, and combat. To play Minecraft the right way, you would have to not only make a mega base, you would also have to defeat the Ender Dragon and get an Elytra, have to set up a bunch of mob farms, have to explore every single structure in the game, and fight every single enemy in the game. It's all of them, or none of them. You can't just say people should be required to delve deeper into this one aspect, because at the end of the day, you really can't support that claim, because it's completely a matter of preference and opinion of what aspect you enjoy more, which is why it's kind of a foolish argument to begin with. Not to mention the fact that whether or not a build is good is completely subjective, for example, when Gerg was making fun of Zip over saying that his criticisms basically weren't valid because he was bad at building, well, what if someone else thought Zip over's builds were good? What if I thought that? For the record, I don't actually think his cobblestone hut was incredible, but you get what I mean. It's impossible to say you can't criticize the game because you haven't made a good build, because there is no definition of a good build just as there is no definition of a right or wrong way to play Minecraft. Because Minecraft is much about the player's freedom and ability to express themselves. And trying to say that there's a specific right way to play the game takes away from both of those things. I can't truly have freedom if there's already a right and wrong way to play the game, can I? And I can't really express myself if there's a right way that I should be playing the game either. I mean, for crap's sake, it's Minecraft. People should be able to play the game how they want and enjoy without being mocked for it or people saying that their opinions are invalid. If the only blocks you placed down on your playthrough were a crafting table and a furnace and you still had a good time, that's great. So long as you played at least one of the core aspects, your criticisms can still be valid. So honestly, I find it kind of ridiculous that people who like to share their thoughts or opinions on Minecraft are being pressured into having to build more just so that their thoughts can matter. Maybe you could say there's an ideal way to play Minecraft, to fully immerse yourself in every aspect, but that's different from a right and wrong. Or, you know, maybe I'm just crazy, but I hope what I said here today makes sense to you all. Like I said in the intro, this is a very niche and specific ideology that I covered here today. But I still think it's important to talk about, that's why I covered it. So that'll do it for this video. Hope to see you in the next one, and for now, goodbye folks.